on to tangling along with me. We are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern right here. So let's open up the book and find a place for it. This is um, mostly a border pattern. Um, so I need to find a place for this. I'm thinking of down here maybe just a little of this so I will turn my book a tiny bit. Um, this one is made, uh, the step out is made on squared paper and the made um, the step out are made in the squares so it's very fine and neat and um, we don't have the squares here and we are not going to normally we are not going to use a pencil before we start a pattern because then it's not really a a real sentangle pattern because you should just be able to take up your micron and then draw it and it should be able to be looking good but I think this one is um, difficult I'm gonna put mine here so I'm just gonna make a straight line here I need a straight line to do this one uh, and even that I'm not sure I can do this one right but let's try it out okay I'm going to turn it back here so the pattern itself are made of uh, some semi um, orbs uh, and they are open like this and then you make another one on the other side that's open like this and of course they are popped into a square where they are hitting the nose so it's quite easy and then in the next two squares you're doing the same just the other way around so one half circle and I got that a little too small and another one and I'm gonna do a third one just because I can it's kind of a C shape that goes a little more round it is more like an orb and then um, you are going to make some small lines first but I think that I'm going to make the inner orb first so I'm putting in a inner orb in all of these that is actually an 8 now <laughs> 3 eights here then I'm going to make a line and now I have to do this right from the outside of this one and down to the um, to connect the circle so from this outside and to the circle like that and then from this corner down to the circle from this corner and down to the circle like that and then I don't even know why there is a circle because they are going in and making this black ribbon that goes over the circle and now the circle is gone and from one of these circles to the next and coloring these black as well and the same here to here color it, color it in and then of course one going out from here and I'm just gonna cut that off and color it black like the other ones there we go then there is made these um, from the middle here and up and then crooked or in a uh, um, like that <laughs> and the same from here down like that and I'm gonna do that on all of these
So here you go up in a point and down. And here you go up again in the point and down. And you do that in all of them if you have more of these. And then we can go in and do like they did. Aura everything. And in the uh, step out, they then skip these so they go from here to there and from here to there, like this. And they do that one more time. that and then of course turn the book do the same here so first make oops an aura that did not go as I wanted it to for some reasons my auras do not always work as they really should but that's the way it is sometimes and then only between these mountains and that one more time there we go so that's the pattern um, and I want to do something more. First of all, I'm just gonna erase my uh, pencil line here. So you don't see that in the done results. Again, you might not have to do this, but my um, pencil lines are a bit more strong so that you can see that on the camera. So I'm going to my Micron 01 and that is the orange one. And um, I'm going to color in these small towers or ribbons or what you call those. Because I want a little more color in this one. There we go, and I'm going to take a tiny bit of my white charcoal, and I think I'm gonna, um, I don't know actually what to do, place a little white here. Like that, using my Tatillon for the white. Smoothing it out. Like that. And my graphite. Here I want to place a little graphite here where the line is kind of going under the other line. Like that. And of course on the other side as well. that. Let me turn my book a tiny bit and then using my touchy young to soften it out. And there we go. That is the pattern. So this one is not one of my favorites because I think it's really hard to do so that it looks really nice. Uh, but it is actually pretty cool. Um, try it out and see what you do. Uh, see what you like. 
try it out and see what you like. Maybe you really, really like this pattern and it's just me that have a, a hard time with it. And remember, everything that I say about these patterns are my opinions. You might have a different opinion about the pattern. But that was this pattern right here. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.